Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am the Traveling Man. And as you've probably seen on the news lately, it's not a good time to be flying anywhere. Flight cancellations, flight delays, staff shortages. There were just so many things that could go wrong this summer and well, anytime and impact your flight. It just seems riskier now than ever to be trying to fly anywhere with all these uncertainties uh, surrounding flying. So today I wanna to talk about something that folks have often asked me about uh, and something I've not been so careful about myself. And I'll tell you why that is, but we're gonna talk about uh, flying the same day as your cruise. There are just so many uncertainties when it comes to air travel, whether you're just flying for a trip somewhere, you're not even going on a cruise, uh, but certainly you up the ante, per se, in terms of risk when you fly the same day as a cruise. And I'll say very happily that for most of my cruises, I do fly the morning of or sometimes the night before. And in fact, most recently, uh, I sailed on the Celebrity Beyond over in Rome and to the surprise of everyone I talked to on the cruise ship, they were like, oh, when did you get in? Did you fly in a couple of days and explore Rome? I was like, no, I flew in the night before because I literally left uh, my city at like six o'clock in the evening, flew overnight, landed at 8.30 in the morning, got on a bus, went right to the cruise ship. So had anything gone wrong, you know, had we had to be diverted somewhere else and not land in Rome or had the flight got canceled and not taken off the next day, I would have been in trouble. And in fact, my trip was canceled on the way home. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, and another horror story I've had flying the same day of my cruise. But first, let's walk through some pros of flying the same day, some cons why you should not fly the same day of your cruise. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about why I do it despite all the things that could go wrong. So the number one pro I think of why to fly the same day of your cruise is you don't have to pay the extra money on lodging. There's a lot of costs associated with staying a night in port somewhere. Of course, you land on your plane, you have to get transportation and pay for transportation from the airport to the lodging. You're gonna have to pay for the night in the hotel, you're gonna have to pay for breakfast the next morning, then you're gonna have to pay for transportation from the hotel over to the cruise terminal. It gets expensive. So you can cut out a lot of that cost if you're cheap like me and you just fly the same day. Another pro is that's gonna give you more time at home. You're gonna have more time to pack. You're gonna have more time to make sure that you have what you need for your trip. If you're like me and you procrastinate and pack at the very last minute, uh, you're gonna have time to do that. So there are a lot of uh, positives and a lot of incentives to not fly until the morning or the same day of your cruise. Also, if you're booking your airfare through the cruise line, most of the time, uh, when you go in to make that booking, you're gonna see that they suggest the suggested departure date is the day of the cruise. And in fact, the cruise on the Beyond that I just told you about where I flew all the way across the ocean overnight and got directly on the cruise ship, that was booked by Celebrity Cruises. But most of the time when they do this, they do offer uh, the, a guarantee that you will get to the ship. So whether you are delayed or the flight's canceled and you don't make the embarkation of the ship, uh, a lot of times the cruise lines at least say, I don't know, it's never happened to me. Let me know down in the comments if it's happened to you and you've missed what the cruise line did because you booked airfare through them to get you to the next port and get you on the ship at the next port. And then I guess the third pro, the third reason why I do it is going directly from an airplane to a cruise ship is very exciting. I don't know if anyone else uh, has that same experience or is excited by that, but I just think it's so cool. Like I get up in the morning, I get on an airplane, I leave my city, fly to, let's say, you know, Miami, go directly from the airport to a cruise ship and get on it. I think that's so cool. I love it. Uh, maybe it's the risk factor involved in it. Maybe I'm a, I'm not much of an air devil, but maybe subconsciously it's that risk in it that really excites me. I don't know, but there's something about flying, getting off an airplane and going to a cruise ship that's really cool to me. So I think that's a pro, that's one of the reasons that I do it as well. There's no waiting involved, right? Like if I have to fly to a city the night before and stay in a hotel, I'm not gonna sleep. I'm gonna be like a kid the night before Christmas, awake every hour of the night. And it just seems to be in hotels that that happens. I can be at home and sleep just fine the night before uh, my cruise. But if I'm at a hotel, nope, I, I'm not getting any sleep. So now let's talk about the downsides, why you should not fly the same day of your cruise. And the number one, of course, is the obvious, the risk of delay the risk of cancellation. And this can happen at any time. And for any number of reasons, like I said, maintenance, uh, they, sh they could have staff shortages. Maybe uh, the crew doesn't get to the airport on time. I'll tell you about a situation that happened to me uh, several years ago when I was going on a cruise. I was actually in very rare instance where I was flying in the night before and we were all lined up because the plane had come in to the gate. It was late getting into the gate and our flight had been delayed by maybe an hour or so. And we were all in line because all the people on the flight before us had gotten off the plane 
We thought we were going to be boarding soon, right? And we just stood there, stood there, stood there. Nothing happened. They never started boarding. All of a sudden, they came on and said, hey, there's a maintenance issue with the plane. We're working on it. We're going to get you out here soon. Well, we waited another 20 minutes or so. Then the announcement changed a little bit. And they said, folks, uh, the crew and the pilot are about at their hours for the day because there's only a certain number of hours that pilots can be active. Of course, you want the pilots to be as aware as they can be so they can't work overtime. So they're about out of hours. So... We have about a 15 minute window to board this plane as quickly as we can. So we all ran on the plane. I've never seen people board a plane and put up their luggage as fast in my entire life. We made it, but we got seated and they were like, well, actually the maintenance issue is back. We're canceling the flight. We can't go tonight. Things like that can happen. You can be all the way on the plane thinking I'm good. I can breathe a, a sigh of relief because I'm on the plane. Certainly I'm gonna be landing in Fort Lauderdale soon and something can come up like maintenance. So that's of course the obvious reason, the biggest con on why you shouldn't fly the same day of your cruise because well, you could just miss your cruise completely because of a cancellation or a delay. Another downside to flying the same day of is that you'll miss out on the port of embarkation. So in my case, flying over to Rome, uh, you know, most everyone I met on my cruise had experienced Rome. They went out a couple days early they got out and saw all the sights in Rome, but not me because I went directly from the airport to the ship. Now I had been to Rome before, so I had seen things. Otherwise I might've flown in early. And certainly if I were gonna fly, uh, you know, to like Australia or Japan or somewhere like that uh, and go on a cruise, I certainly would go a few days early to explore a little bit on my own. But, uh, you know, when you fly in the day of, you are gonna miss out on seeing like Miami. You're not gonna be able to visit Miami, Fort Lauderdale, like Orlando. There are things you can do in those places. There are destinations in and of themselves. So with all that being said, should you fly the same day of your cruise? I would say probably not. For most people, no. Uh, there's too many risks involved. Any mechanical issue, any staff issue, any minor thing like that could derail your trip. And right now, because of COVID protocols and, and having to be tested before your cruise and everything. I know there was a time that if you booked airfare through the cruise line and you missed your flight or something happened and they didn't get you to the ship on time for embarkation and sell away, that the cruise line promised that they would get you to the ship at the next port of call. But I don't even know if that's possible. I don't even know if you can join the ship in the middle of a cruise now because of COVID. I certainly don't recommend you flying uh, halfway around the world, flying to Europe or somewhere like that arriving in the morning and going straight to the cruise ship. Again, I did it, but uh, I can't make that recommendation for you to do the same. And that's why people look at me like I have three heads when I tell them that I did it, because it's like, oh, any little thing could have gone wrong and you wouldn't have been able to go on your cruise. And there are a few reasons why I feel comfortable doing this. First of all, I am a single traveler. I usually cruise solo and I have no one else with me. So I'm responsible for me and me alone. So. I figure if something were to go wrong and I am at the airport or it's the day of and I'm about to leave to go to the airport and I get the notification my flight's canceled, I can call up the airline and be like, excuse me, can I get on the next flight? And that goes into the second reason why I do it is because I live in a major North American city that has three airports in the city. And between those three airports, I think there's a hub for all of the major US airlines. So I have confidence that if I miss my flight or if something happens to my flight, I can call the airline, I can go on the app, whatever. I can contact the airline and say, I need one seat on the next flight out and get that. I have confidence in that being a solo traveler. However, if there were a party of five or six or maybe a family of four, or even a couple, you're not always guaranteed that you're gonna be able to get the next flight. You're not gonna be able to fly standby uh, and get to your cruise port in time. And I'll give you an example of this. This happened to me on my Beyond Cruise on my way back. I was leaving Barcelona and I did celebrity transfer. So the cruise line actually took me from the ship over to the airport. And I got there, I think at like 8.30 in the morning maybe. And my flight was at noon. I get to my gate. I got all checked in and through security and customs and everything. Let's say about 9.15, 9.30. Got a notification on my phone that my noon flight had been canceled. And all the airline said was, please contact us for to make other arrangements. So I was like, oh no, what do I do? So I go on the app and luckily I have an option on the app to change and there just so happened to be a 4 p.m. flight nonstop to my city, my final destination, and I was able to get on that one. But there weren't many flights available on that one and there weren't any seats together. So what would have happened if I were a party of two or three or four, we all couldn't have got on that same flight. So again, I take these risks because I'm a solo traveler 
and I'm comfortable doing so because I feel like if something were to happen, odds are better that I'm gonna be able to be accommodated and I was able to get on that later flight. This is why I also take the earliest flight of the day. If there's a 6 a.m. flight to the port of embarkation, I'm gonna be on that flight because if that six o'clock flight gets canceled, well, maybe there's a nine o'clock flight and I can get on it and still be there in time. And if that one gets messed up, well, maybe there's a one o'clock flight that'll get me there at three and I can get to the ship just in time. So being a single traveler living in a major North American city with three major airports and taking the earliest flight of the day, that gives me the confidence that I need that if something were to go wrong, I'm gonna get there. I also never take a connecting flight. If my flight is not nonstop, there's no way I would fly same day for my cruise. I have to be on a nonstop flight uh, because I don't wanna have to stop say in Charlotte or somewhere and then be like, oh no, uh, my flight from Charlotte to here got canceled, now what do I do? So it has to be a nonstop flight as well. So probably the worst experience that I had in doing this uh, actually came this year, January of this year, and I was flying down to Fort Lauderdale to go on the Celebrity Edge. However, the week before the cruise, uh, all the weather models and all the forecasts showed that a major winter storm was coming to my city. It was going to impact travel uh, through a large portion of the eastern United States. And so I thought, well, that's going to impact travel to Fort Lauderdale. I know I'm supposed to leave on the first flight of the day tomorrow to get there uh, in time for the cruise, but I didn't have any confidence in it. So a few days early, I was able to change my flight to the night before and I did stay in a hotel overnight and was safely to my ship the next morning. So in an instance like that, I do feel like if, again, if you're a solo traveler, maybe even a couple, you can make quick decisions like that, get your flights changed and make hotel arrangements if it looks like weather is gonna be the factor that causes your flight to be canceled or delayed. And in that instance, I did check the next morning. The flight was canceled, I made the right move. But it just shows you, if you are gonna fly the same day of your cruise, you need to be flexible. You need to be willing to face any situation that might come up because there are hundreds of situations that could come up, things that could affect your travel. You might not make your cruise. You know, you have to live with that reality and also the anxiety that comes with it. I don't do all these things and just be like, I'm going on a cruise, the same, flying the same day of. There's always a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of nervousness there that something's gonna happen. I'm not gonna make my cruise ship. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative and I hope it uh, helps you to think about whether or not you should be flying on the same day of your cruise or not. If you enjoyed it, please go down below. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out ZachTheTravelMan.com for more travel information and I'll see you on the next adventure.